So we're just going to explain some of the most important parts here. So this is the main line. This is going to be spanning across the tree, and this is what the obstacles are going to sit on. Next, we have the ratchet. The ratchet is what's going to tighten the slack line. You'll notice this has a nice rubber grip, and it's very industrial. It's the same thing for professional groups. And we have the tree protector. So the tree protectors, they go wrap around the tree so the bark doesn't get damaged on it. And last, we have the buckles. So the buckles will go on top of the slack line, through the slack line, as we'll show you in the next step. And the, uh, the obstacles will go in here and they'll be ready to put it. First, you'll put on your tree protectors. And the height of the tree protectors will depend on the recommended height, which is included in the instructions. So just go through the instructions and check what the best height for your kids are. First thing you'll do is you'll put the ratchet on the tree. So you want to loop the ratchet through the loop over here and just shimmy it up the tree. And once you get it tight, fold it inside. So the ratchet is pointing down when you tighten it. So next we'll put on the tree protector for the other side. So you want to keep it around the same height. And once this is on, we will wrap this around like we did on the ratchet. So what we're doing right now is we're just straightening the line to ensure that it's all flat in one way. So right now, you'll notice we'll pull it and it is flat. Next, we are sliding the buckles on the slack line. Now you want to put all the buckles on the slack line and you want to pull them across the line as you would want the obstacles placed. So just put all them on, then we'll go to the next step. Now you want to pull the slack line through the hole in the ratchet and make sure you go the right way. And this is a very important step. You want to ensure that the slack line is fully tightened before you start to crank the ratchet. So you'll go back like this and just keep on pulling until all the slack is out that you can get. Now that all the slack is out that I can get, we pull on the handle right here and now we start to ratchet it. And after a few times around, it'll catch and now we just go as tight as we can get it. It might feel like you can't get any more, but just go as many as you can. And once you're done, pull the second handle, just close it like that. Now it's locked. So you might want to test out the line before just to ensure that it's good. So we'll just hang on it. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Next, you'll just get your obstacles and get the carabiner. You'll open them up, put them through the buckles. And as you go in, just loop it in and just close it for your kid's safety. Quick tip for you guys, so once your kids complete the obstacle parts and they progress, you can actually adjust it and adjust the difficulty by adding more or less space. So as you can see, there's less space here, but there's slightly more space here. So your kids will have to swing more and it's much harder if you keep on adding more space. So your kids will always have fun on the obstacle course. So take down the monkey line. All you'll do is you'll grab this handle right here and you'll pull it, and you'll keep it press and it'll make a loud clicking noise as you press and that's it now you'll pull 